everyone. Welcome to the Charvak Podcast. This is your host, Kushal Behra. All right. My guest today is Mr. Arman Ali. Arman is an executive director of the National Sector for Promotion of Employment for Disabled People. They are India's first cross-ability non-profit organization working with a range of stakeholders to advocate for rights of persons with disability along with encouraging their employment increasing public awareness, creating and disseminating knowledge, information and opportunities, and working towards easy and convenient access to all public places, products, services, and technologies. Arman, thanks for coming on the podcast. Thanks, Kushal. Pleasure. So, Arman, let's start with this. Maybe we can start with your own personal journey and a little bit about the journey of the organization itself. So, I hand it over to you now. Uh so uh, my name is arman and um, i am basically from guwahati and um, i have a disability by birth i have cerebral palsy and uh, i use a wheelchair uh, for my mobility um, i have done my bachelor's in information technology from manipal university in distance mode i enjoy what i do i i, I um, really enjoy being around people i i um, enjoy all the good things in life. I am a shooter. I shoot at uh, the national level, uh, uh, 10 meter rare pistol and 25 meter firearm. I participated at the national level at the para games uh, in India. Um, so I'm like anyone else, like any other man of my age. Uh, I am very passionate about disabled people's right, very passionate about uh, anything to do in the country about an inclusion of people and uh, i live in delhi now but basically from guwahati yaar ye shooting ke bare mein batao thoda thoda uske bare mein thodi charcha kare ye shooting ka shauk kahan se aa gaya oh you know bachpan mein jaisa hota hai har you know i think every guy either they like a gun uh, gun or a car so I, I i i in fact as a child i wanted to be a police officer and uh, nice. you know I, I, a lot of people when i think the you know, boys especially when they are kids they want to be cops and um, the, my, uh, even when my father used to ask me ki what would you want to do when you grow up and i used to say ki police officer banunga and then you as you grew up when i reached fifth or sixth standard i figured out that you know there's something wrong with me and i cannot be a police officer but you know i've been always very keen with uh, shooting per se and uh, never had the opportunity so it's been 5 years now i uh, i have a friend uh, who is a senior police officer in in assam uh, he was also a national he's an international judge in fact for so he once took me to the shooting range and i just picked it up from there started as a interesting interesting yeah so that that's good okay so arman maybe we can talk about the history of the organization so how did the idea of for uh, the the organization and um, uh, you know we'll uh, we'll go from there like wh- where do you feel or where did you or everybody feel the need for a certain organization that would actually uh, you know ask for very specific things like uh, when did it start how did the concept come up maybe we can start from there yeah you know uh, uh, my predecessor late sri javed abidi um, he uh, you know was a, uh, he 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 uh, was the first uh, executive director of ncpdp and he was uh, a global uh, you know champion on uh, rights of persons with disability so ncpdp was founded after you know we had the first legislation on uh, disability in india in 1995 and uh, it talked about um, incentive to private sector organizations who employ people with disability and uh, it says any any establishment who employ disabled people uh, and uh, a certain percentage of the workforce and a force uh, so those will be uh, kind of uh, incentive will be given by the government and at ncpdp we thought at that time in 1996 that if we can um, provide uh, be the catalyst between the industry and disabled people and people with disabilities find employment and become economically independent it solves a lot of problem 
and uh, so we started this discourse with uh, the confederation of industries like the cii fiki nascom and so on and, and likes of them and i think there was uh, quite uh, a positive response from the industry and there was a time when this it sector bpo uh, you know call center thing started and it gives you an, an impression that how people think that disabled people will be able to do desk jobs and and that's how we started so um, one could not uh, find uh, enough people with disabilities with qualification uh, that is was needed to do the, the roles that was offered by uh, the private sector IT ITS companies. And then we figured out that uh, uh, we did a study to understand what is the status of people with disabilities in the country in terms of employment. Uh, so we figured that top 100 companies, we, we went to them, we did a study and uh, less than, uh, you know, 1% of people with disabilities population get any meaningful employment. And uh, we to find the reason why, uh, about why was it, it like that, we figured that, uh, you know, less than, you know, 2% of people with disabilities received any meaningful education. They never got enough uh, education of 15 years or uh, or reached a education level of higher education. Um, and that's how the employment was not happening. And the reason it was not happening because there was no access either to an education institution or to a place of employment. So if I find a job uh, uh, and I have to move to Mumbai, I would not be able to travel alone on a local train on an everyday basis. Uh, you know, and, and then if the office is inaccessible, if my, and, and, and that's, that's the reason why. So we figured out that uh, um, education and employment both cannot happen without accessibility. So NCPDP works on six pillars. So one is education and one is accessibility, employment. Uh, and then we say that there's a law which says that all public places should be accessible for people with disabilities. It includes transport, uh, waterways, uh, air, airlines, everything has to be, all, or air transport has to be accessible. So the, the fourth pillar is law and policy. And then the fifth, we talk about awareness. So people with, should have awareness about the rights of disabled people. And disabled people themselves also know about their rights. So we put awareness one. And the sixth pillar that we focus is on youth, uh, youth with disability, and how uh, it is a youth with disability who has to take forward their right and we, we, we voice out their concerns and so on. So these are the six pillars that we are focused on. And uh, we, we turned uh, ourselves around and we started doing a research-based advocacy in India around the disability. And we play this role where we are uh, a catalyst between the government uh, and, and, and uh, the persons with disabilities. Uh, we run India's largest network on disability, the National Disability Network, where we have partners across the country. Like, you know, we have, for example, Association of uh, People Affected by Leprosy. They are our, part uh, our partners. Uh, the All India Confederation, Confederation of the Blind. Uh, you talk about National Association of the Deaf. Uh, the National uh, uh, Association of People with uh, uh, MS, multiple sclerosis, all the blood disorders for that matter. And we are partner in every state. So, you know, uh, and, and we work closely with the state governments uh, through our partners. We work with the government at the union level and we, you know, keep a close watch on all the policies that is being developed and we give our feedback and and, and try to bring in um, disabled friendly policies. So some of the things that we have been able to achieve and, and I think uh, that is huge in the last 26 years. So if you look at the private sector employment that is happening around disability, you know, it's, it's something which was started with NCPDP. Uh, if you look at uh, 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 accessibility in general, you know, across the country, if you look at the harmonized guidelines by the Ministry of Urban Development uh, was led by NCPDP in a, in a lot of way. Two legislations around disability, you know, in two decades, we have had uh, two laws on disability, the, the, the latest being the Rights of Persons with Disabilities Act 2016. I think this is one of the strongest legislation around disability in the world. And, you know, we take pride in that. Uh, we talk about inclusion of disabled people into census, accessible elections, uh, you know, reservations in UPSC jobs like the grade one, grade A jobs. 
Uh, if you look at the national education policy, you know, it talks about inclusion of disabled people right from early childhood to higher education. So all this has been um, kind of our uh, uh, initiative. We have brought all people together. And, and, and NCPDP, uh, one of its biggest strength is its cross-disability. It's not talking about one particular uh, kind of disability. We bring all stakeholders together and we understand what is the need. And, and we go back to the, uh, in the stakeholders' government. Now, for example, uh, the national policy on disability is being framed. So the multiple discussion has been happening, you know, in, in multiple, in sign languages also. All disabled people with different kind of disability, they come, listen to it. We, we try to handhold and give them, uh, you know, the right kind of information so that, you know, the last person in the last village is also able to kind of contribute uh, the, what should the document have, which kind of takes care of uh, that person. Uh, the national curriculum framework, which has been designed. So, in fact, tomorrow we have a presentation to make with the committee. So, um, largely policy work. We also represent the country internationally. Uh, play that role of uh, kind of bringing the picture uh, out uh, in terms of what is the status of disabled people in, in the country and so on. So um, broadly, this is what we do. Um, we run a fellowship uh, for youth with disability. We have uh, 25 fellows, which is supported by a Jim in uh, Foundation. 25 young people with disabilities from the age group of uh, 18 to 20, uh, 28. Uh, they are located in 25 different locations, right from Jammu and Kashmir to Kerala, from uh, from from Delhi to Manipur, uh, um, you know, Charkhand, Bihar, you, you name it. Uh, and they're, they're all uh, persons with disabilities and they have picked up uh, separate uh, issues. Like for, if somebody is, want, is working on health, so what is the status of health uh, infrastructure and disabled people in Haryana, for example? What is the status of education in some uh, district in UP? Uh, how is inclusive uh, education working there? And likewise, so on and so forth. So that's one, one of the uh, important thing that we do. And we are currently supporting. It's one of its kind in Asia Pacific, I can say that. Uh, we run this award, the Universal Design Award, uh, uh, where we recognize people, organizations who are promoting universal design and accessibility for people with disability in products and services. Uh, another one is, uh, 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 is the Helen Keller Award, where we recognize organizations and individuals who are promoting employment for people with disabilities. So in a nutshell, uh, Kushal, this is what uh, NCDP, uh, NCPDP does. And uh, that's it. So Arman, uh, this is more of an academic question, because disability the word itself needs to be defined properly, right? Otherwise, it could be there could be some gray areas. So when the organization looks at disability as a sub as the meaning of the word itself, how does the organization approach it? And I and I want to do this is because I want to understand it better. Like, uh, uh, what, what areas of this are we just looking at physical disabilities? Are we looking at uh, other kinds of disabilities too? And and what what is the line that is drawn where we think that a person needs certain special um, services or 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 uh, certain infrastructural changes so that you know they they, they their uh, their smooth uh, transition happens into the society how, how do we deal with it? Because uh, currently, right now, we, uh, from what I have understood is that people are focusing on certain areas, but eventually with CRISPR and Cas9 kind of technologies, you're going to have genetically modified babies too. I, I, it's just going to happen. That's the nature of the beast. In the next 20, 30 years, you're going to have people planting chips in their body. Artificial intelligence is going to be coming in. We're going to have different kinds of so how how is how is the community itself looking at those uh, those uh, definitional issues too it's i know it's a technical question but i i, I honestly I, I and i mean this with all the sincerity when i'm trying to ask this no see kushal i'll tell you uh, our our um, area geographical area of work is focused in india and and we all follow the constitution of india and we all follow the Indian laws, which is there. So if you look at the Rights of Persons with Disabilities Act 2016, 
which uh, is a five year old uh, legislation. So it defines 21 categories of disability. So it includes locomotor disability, it includes sensory uh, disability, it includes uh, blood disorders, it includes uh, uh, psycho uh, um, in psychological disabilities, uh, it includes inter uh, developmental disabilities, it includes uh, um, um, uh, multiple disabilities. So, and it has defined 21 categories into that, like people who have, uh, you know, issues with their uh, uh, movement, uh, your four limbs. So those will be uh, uh, coming under. You know, you, may, you might have a spinal cord injury. You you may have one hand amputated, or uh, uh, you may have uh, you know um, a cerebral palsy, which can uh, uh, which uh, and, and autism, the intellectual disability, and, and so on and so forth. Now the Indian law says anybody who has uh, forty percent and above disability so there is a medical board which sits and and uh, you have to appear before this medical board which sits in every district and when you sit uh, go through this uh, test it defines your percentage so anybody who has got 40% and above uh, percentage of disability is given an identity card and uh, people who have 40% above disability have a reservation of you know four percent in jobs five percent in education now it gives you some entitlements like you know you get railway concession you may you 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 know you get um, income tax rebate if you are paying tax uh, and so on so that's how now any so you asked me who is a person with disability i think anybody who thinks that is a person with disability may will be considered as person with disability like people who have a rare disease, for example, they they also consider themselves as a person with disability. But the law doesn't recognize it. Uh, uh, if you look at it, you know, in a in a in a list format or identity format where you can get a ID and you can be uh, uh, you know entitled to certain benefits. Uh, so, twenty one categories. What we look at India, certain of certain categories of them have benefits like reservations in jobs and you know in education any infrastructure or any services or any product which is friendly for people with disabilities is friendly for all so uh, so infrastructure if you're making anything which is based on the principles of universal design it doesn't only only cater to people with disabilities it caters to many other people for example the elderly for example a woman uh, who are pregnant children uh, also men who are uh, you know, carrying heavy uh, uh, stuff while doing something would like to take the ramp, then the steps, for example, or or the lift, or 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 you know, and so on. So it's it's access is something everybody needs, and we create an infrastructure which is uh, which is uh, which is designed in a manner which leaves no one behind. It doesn't discriminate against any particular kind of uh, person with a particular kind of uh, ability or disability. Uh, so that is what disability access is all about. And um, I forgot what other question that you asked. No, so I, I'll try and explain why. Because different uh, different, uh, different issues need different solutions. So when, when a solution is designed at the policy level, because you said, um, you know, uh, you, you came across and said that the, you guys work a lot in the policy sector where you approach government of India, it doesn't matter which government of the day it is, you you go to the government, you approach the government, you talk about specific issues, which is where I, I was like, you know, defin defining what these, these uh, disabilities are becomes very important. And I'm glad you shared how the government looks at disability per se. And my biggest fear where I'm coming from is the government is always behind the curve. I I'm very libertarian. So in my, my brain, government sucks no matter what. That's just how I think. Government is inefficient. Government sucks. And my worry is that the, the speed at which technology is changing in this world today is very fast in comparison to the, to the speed at which governments change. Governments are always in inertia. You know, they, they are always in that lethargic speed. And you're going to have a time in the next two, three decades where 
you're literally going to have genetically modified babies they're going to have a distinct advantage it's not going to happen initially in india does not mean it's not going to happen outside the world the moment those genetically advanced babies have certain special skills and indian multimillionaires will take their babies out where it is legal to have that kind of ability done they can you know they can afford it just think about it arman they can afford to live outside india for 2 years because they're rich they're going to have those specially abled in the different sense extra ability wale babies it's going to happen trust me in that case the rest of the society is literally not at par with them <laughs> they're not going to be at par with them what's the government going to do that what is the plan of the which is why i said there's no other reason and why i say that is you you are looking at the lens of what disability is right now and you're justified in that and i'm supporting you but the point is that is going to create a even bigger body blow for you <laughs> so i'm just letting you know that please be aware of these problems that are coming uh, forward the world is constantly changing and and i'm just worried about it but now i want to share a anecdote another anecdote that bothers me consistently and can can you tell me has the government tried to do anything about it and again it's not about a government it is about the government the state doesn't matter who so i am in north america right now as i'm recording this podcast with you so uh, jaise main aapko offline bhi bata raha tha ki choti choti cheeze i noticed that i never noticed in india uh, you can go to the top of the line mall in mumbai top of the line jahan pe elite se elite log jate hain they are also not friendly they are also not friendly to wheelchair passengers or any any kind of stuff the ramps are not made properly the parking does not have allocated parking slots for handicapped uh, like you know the handicap stickers you have in north america i'm sure you must have been aware of that wo handicap ka sticker lagate hain gaadi ke aage aur jo mall hota hai uske jo sabse nazdeek slot hota hai that is given to the handicapped uh, drivers or passengers and uh, those parking slots are so different like let's say the normal parking slot is this much for a car in the united states the handicapped one will be this much so they gave extra space too because you know you want to take out the wheelchair you need maneuverability small small things that there are that that may escape your imagination are taken care of over here when it comes to now people might say are wo aise wale ameer desh hai अरे भाई हम इतने भी तो गरीब नहीं है ना कि हमारा सबसे अच्छा मॉल जहां पे मेरे केस में मुंबई के पैसे वाले आते हैं और वहां पे भी नहीं होता इज देर एनी एफर्ट डन टू मेक रेज अवेयरनेस ऑन दोज इशूज अरमान और इट इज डन और गवर्नमेंट इतनी होपलेस है कि कुछ फिर भी नहीं होता नहीं नहीं दुनिया में भारत देश ऐसा है जिसमें सबसे ज्यादा द हाईएस्ट कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ डिसेबल्ड पीपल हाईएस्ट पॉपुलेशन ऑफ डिसेबल्ड पीपल इज इन इंडिया यू नो इफ वी कम वी कैन ओनली बी कंपेयर्ड विद चाइना मे बी एंड एंड नाउ द प्रॉब्लम विद अस हैज बीन दैट आई मेंशन टू अर्लियर कि हम हमेशा हमेशा से मतलब डिसेबिलिटी को एक वेलफेयर का इशू मानते चले कभी इनको हमने डेवलपमेंट का इशू नहीं समझा एक दया के पात्र समझ के हम हमेशा से ट्रेडिशन है इट्स ग्लोबल फिनोमिना आप uh, किसी भी वेस्टर्न कंट्री अमेरिका की बात कर लीजिए आपकी डिसेबिलिटी जब तक फिजिकल है व्हीलचेयर पे है आप बोल पा रहे हैं तब तक ठीक है जहां इंटेलेक्चुअल डिसेबिलिटीज आ जाती है वेयर पीपल आर नॉट एबल टू वॉइस आउट देयर कंसर्न देयर आर डिस्क्रिमिनेशन एम्प्लॉयमेंट इज एन इशू इन द इन द इन इन द फाइनेस्ट कंट्री इन द वर्ल्ड इफ यू गो टू मैन आई आई हैव ट्रैवल्ड एक्सटेंसिवली एंड वर्क एंड स्टडीज एंड सो ऑन तो ये तो है डेफिनेटली नाउ आई थिंक द बिगेस्ट प्रॉब्लम विथ आवर कंट्री हैज बीन दैट मैं देख रहा हूं कि पिछले 75 फाइव ईयर्स की बात में करूं आप मुझे एक कैंपेन बताइए जो कि विकलांगता के विषय पे हो दैट इज फोकस ऑन डिसेबिलिटी वॉट हु इज अ पर्सन ऑन डिसेबिलिटी क्या 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 व्हाट इज़ द नीड ऑफ़ पीपल डिसेबिलिटी मांगता है डिसेबल्ड आदमी ही और शी इज़ आस्किंग फॉर एजुकेशन रोजगार आजादी से एक जगह से दूसरे जगह इज्जत से आने जाने की आजादी बाकी तो रोटी कपड़ा मकान तो मैं बोलूंगा चाहिए ही सो वॉट इज दैट 
विच इज रॉकेट साइंस हेयर बस ये है कि तरीका अलग है आप सीढ़ी आप सीढ़ी से जाएंगे उनको एक रैम चाहिए दो एक और अब तो लिफ्ट तो हर किसी को चाहिए होता है यू नो इट्स नॉट दैट इज स्पेसिफिक टू पीपल इन डिसेबिलिटी और सर्टेन एंड थिंग लुक एट एजुकेशन इट्स अ फंडामेंटल राइट फॉर पीपल विद फॉर पीपल लिविंग इन इंडिया इट्स इट्स गारंटीड बाय द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन द रिस्पांसिबिलिटी इज ऑन द स्टेट टू इंश्योर दैट एवरी चाइल्ड अप टू द एज ऑफ 14 रिसीव्स फ्री एंड कंपलसरी एजुकेशन डिसेबल बल सरकारी आंकड़ा में आपको बोल रहा हूँ कि जो एनरोलमेंट है डिस्ट्रिक्स का जो डायस डेटा आता है कहता है कि 27 परसेंट एनरोलमेंट है चलो ठीक है और जब तक ये सेकेंडरी स्कूल के लेवल तक आता है इट इज 0.05 पॉइंट जीरो फाइव परसेंट सो मच ऑफ ड्रॉप आउट सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स ड्रॉप आउट ऑफ द स्कूल द रीजन इन एक्सेबल स्कूल इन एक्सेबल ट्रांसपोर्ट इन एक्सेबल एजुकेशन सिस्टम तो इन सब चीजों का हम जब नहीं बदल पाएंगे तो आप कैसे यू नो आर एंड एंड यू नो वी हैव अ वेरी एक्सेलेंट हार्मोनाइज्ड गाइडलाइंस में रिलीज बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ अर्बन डेवलपमेंट सीपीडब्ल्यूडी ने इसको कर रखा है और बट यू नो व्हाट इज द प्रॉब्लम इट व्हेन यू गो एट अ स्टेट लेवल व्हेन यू गो टू एट अ मेट्रोपॉलिटन डेवलपमेंट अथॉरिटी उनके बिल्डिंग बायलॉज में इफ दे डोंट मेक इट मैंडेटरी कि अगर आपका बिल्डिंग एक्सेबल नहीं हो तो वी विल नॉट गिव यू एन ऑक्यूपाइसी सर्टिफिकेट और वील नॉट गिव यू एन एन ओ सी सो दैट्स द पॉलिसी गैप सो यू नो द यूनियन मे हैव इंट्रोड्यूस इट सो देर इज एन एक्यूट लैक ऑफ अवेयरनेस आई डोंट थिंक देर हैज बीन एनी और कई लो ना आई थिंक इंडिया इज द कंट्री वेर यू नो वी हैव लीडर्स पीपल वी आर चेंजिंग द वर्ल्ड वी हैव इंडियन एवरीवेयर एंड 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 इन लीडिंग पोजिशन आप बताइए आई थिंक देर इज अ लैक ऑफ अवेयरनेस लॉट ऑफ पीपल लॉट ऑफ गवर्नमेंट टू डू गुड वेर आर दीपल हु कैन ट्रांसफर दिस नॉलेज वेर इज दट अवेयरनेस कैंपेन हु मेक्स यू अंडरस्टैंड की डिसेबल्ड लोगों को फिक्स नहीं करना है ये ऐसे ही है और ये हमारा हिस्सा है जैसे कि देर आर डिफरेंट पीपल ऑफ डिफरेंट हाइट कास्ट क्रीड जेंडर अब तो जेंडर भी कितने हो गए तो उन सब को लेके चलना है तो उसी तरह डिसेबिलिटी हमारे ही डायवर्सिटी का एक हिस्सा है तो What do you do when somebody is six plus come to your house? They find it difficult in certain places. Bettering is there, so I think we are just we don't see that uh, somebody like an alien has come. And because our environment uh, has been made based on a majority in politics, where eighty percent people, who have hands, mouth, eyes, work, 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 You know, a building where everywhere you go, you'll find staircase. अलग-अलग साइज के होंगे. कोई ऐसा बिल्डिंग आपको कभी मिलता है कि बाहर सीढ़ी लगी हुई है, लैडर पे चढ़के जाना है. No, because everybody cannot do it. Majority of people can take steps, climb, you know, first floor, second floor. उसके बाद तो लिफ्ट लगा ही देते हैं. So I think there is an acute lack of awareness. There are examples of government of India. Uh, especially honorable prime minister has launched the accessible india campaign i think that was very far sighted thing which has launched five uh, abhi to tha 6 saal ho gaye hain sir panch se char char saal ho gaye hain but it, it took off well but it you know again some state have done well 50 building kabhi 10 building kabhi ye bhi but where is the you know compliance when you are doing business you talk about any services today today you want to book a uh, um, Cab, you have to use a aggregators app. वो app accessible है क्या disabled लोगों के लिए? जो blind है या जो deaf है, how do they communicate? अगर वो phone करता है cab, how will the deaf answer the call? You know, is the cab अगर सौ cab है, सौ में दस cab ऐसे हैं क्या जो accessible होंगे जिसमें wheelchair आ जाएगा? क्या वो cab aggregator company drivers को sensitize कर रहा है क्या कि there are customers who will come with disability. You cannot deny them. you know today you talk about uh, uh, you know um, digital payment financial inclusion there's so many digital platforms through which you making payments your your flight ticket your doctors everything is digital so digital inclusion ho raha hai have we thought that the disabled people education has over time become uh, uh, online uh, work from home which disabled people were demanding from last two decades jaise hi pure duniya ko problem hui to ek raat mein work from home became a norm you know otherwise there was a issue with the uh, data security hey it's not the protocol and so on so i think you know any this any policy that we frame or anything that we do if you make it friendly for disabled people is friendly for all it does not discriminate against anybody is cheez ko samajhne ki kami hai 
एंड देन डिसेबल्ड पीपल लाइक यू सेड विल प्रूव फॉर देयर वर्थ हु दे आर अगर आज आप स्कूल जा रहे हैं शिक्षा मिल रही है पढ़ रहे हैं देन दे विल गो एंड अपीयर फॉर द काइंड ऑफ जॉब दे कैन डू गेट अ जॉब यूज द पब्लिक ट्रांसपोर्ट कम गो यू नो हैव अ गर्लफ्रेंड गेट मैरिड दे हैव फैमिली घर बनाएंगे दैट्स हाउ यू चेंज लाइफ यू नॉट चेंज लाइफ बाय गिविंग 500 रुपीस एज पेंशन पर मंथ नॉट एज अ कॉस्ट टू द इकॉनमी so i think uh, 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 the larger need to create an awareness right from a school level right at all levels where the government makes disability friendly policies as part of compliance as part of uh, you know when you want to do business you know there are many businesses who are you know from uh, you know developed country doing business in india in their own country they don't flaunt such uh, uh, they don't break such laws but when it comes to india they do is because we don't uh, pay such attention and and this uh, uh, way of looking at disabled people in a stereotype way is a major 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 problem i think so so when you look at disability you only think of a para athlete the para athletes are of course they are achiever fine but there are people who don't see the light of the day they sitting in some shit hole in some village you have never heard of so i think we need to take the both the narrative together so you know aisa nahi hai ki matlab only aapko disability hai to acha bahut acha aap to aap to olympic se gold leke aayenge so you know that stereotyping of disabled people either you bring that or the extreme story aa jayega ki you know um, kisi ke maa ne apne bachche viklang bachche ko maar dala or not able to cope with the thing or 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 or, or um, you know another dark story so everyday life everyday struggle of people with disability or in trying to get uh, access to education employment just this simple thing of going from one place to another these stories need to come out these 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 issues need to be talked about and and i think uh, we as a country are jolly well you know equipped to solve all this problem small example i'll give you Sure. No, government of India. I think uh, um, um, CSCL का एक company है Ministry of Power के नीचे. They are procuring fifty thousand EV buses. पांच-छह states हैं who have floated tender and this electronic uh, electric buses is being procured. So we got to know. We formed a, a freedom of movement coalition. We reached out to the state government, to the union government, to the various secretaries, Niti Aayog, and so on. We say you buy these buses is super, but please ensure that they are low float. Ensure you know they come with a ramp so that people with disability can commute. Nothing doing, you know. I mean, some people states have said that our roads are not uh, uh, friendly for low flow buses. So if civic problem, if there is, you have a civic problem for a vikalang person who does not get out of his house. और घर से निकले तो अगर आप कुशल कहीं जाना है आपको महीने में आपका अगर खर्च तीन हजार होगा तो मुझे वही जगह सेम जगह सेम लोकेशन से आने जाने का खर्च कम से कम कम से कम मैं नहीं कहूं तो तीस हजार रुपया होगा रिक्वेस्ट द ऊबर गाय और एनी अदर एग्रीकेटर एप और सम प्राइवेट टैक्सी और बाय अ कार और है ड्राइवर सो आई थिंक स्मॉल थिंग्स विच इज एंड एंड I think the government of India is one of the highest procure procurer. Look at the procurement India does. अगर हम बोलते हैं कि minimum size of a lift should be this much, two foot and not less, much much must accommodate one wheelchair. अकेले भी जा से बंदा तो तो बनाएगा ही नहीं देश में. If the building, if you look at the national building code, if it mandates कि इसके नीचे manufacturing मत करो for public building or any any बिल्डिंग विच इज फॉर रेसिडेंशियल पर्पज ऑल्सो इंडस्ट्री के लिए आप किसी खोपचे में कुछ कर रहे हो तो दैट्स नॉट आर प्रॉब्लम बट एनी प्लेस विच इज पब्लिक इन यू इन 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 नेचर इट मे बी हाउसिंग कॉम्प्लेक्स सो यू नो दिस इज वेयर आई थिंक हैज बिन बट द लॉर्ड ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड आर बिंग डेवलप्ड इन द कंट्री द बेस्ट ऑफ पॉलिसीज द बेस्ट ऑफ लॉज दैट वी हैव इन आर कंट्री ग्लोबली आई कैन टेल यू बट द चैलेंज रिमेन्स विद इम्प्लीमेंटेशन द चैलेंज रिमेन्स विद आवर अंडरस्टैंडिंग द चैलेंज रिमेन्स विद अवेयरनेस आउट we are not self aware girl. we don't we don't think of uh, look at our behavior you know we think humko covid nahi hoga humko aids nahi hoga hamara accident nahi hoga and, and, and how things are so disability is something which can happen to anyone at any point of time right and you know it cuts across 
it's not that you will only find disabled people in one country or in one community or in one uh, economic class or one gender or one up kisi bhi jagah chale jaiye latest and the richest of the rich the poorest of the poor the most hungry nation or the most healthy nation you'll find people with disabilities there what yeah, and i uh, yes, i just have a question so so how do we nudge people i think it's a psychological issue how do we nudge people in the right direction then that maybe is my next question to you too and no, you can I follow think, up yeah so you know to, to nudge people i think it has to come uh, from the private sector from the government you know otherwise you know it won't happen you look at um swachh bharat abhiyan for example you look at uh, beti bachao beti padhao look at school chale hum you look at uh, you know polio eradication program for that matter you know do bun polio ke do bin it's a it's a, it's, it's a disease which was eradicated with the who program so look at the election campaigns doing campaign come do cast your vote and in that you show one person with disability to wo dikhata hai kisi able uh, kind of a situation where it looks everything honky tonk that's not a story you have to look at the panchayati raj institution every small district of the country a smallest district of the or most remote district also is going through some construction also making buildings also making schools hospitals are we making them disabled friendly i mean i have no issues but kushal when it give an example of a mumbai elitist mall and it doesn't have a disabled friendly feature that person That's will find a solution that family will find a solution if somebody who is able to go to a mall will create a scene you have they will have friends like you who will raise this up imagine a plight of person uh, a family or a person with disability who living in a village somewhere in in, in jharkhand or in manipur or in in in, in uttarakhand what is what life do they have पैदा होते ही उसको परिवार में ही फैमिली विल डिसोन पिछले जन्म का कोई पाप होगा तभी आपके घर में ऐसा पैदा हुआ है एंड आई नो पीपल हुर जजेस आई एस ऑफिसर पीपल हुर बिजनेस मैन एंड हु they have disability in the family but they don't acknowledge it they don't talk about it they don't bring them out to the public so i think that needs to go away you know and what you don't see is don't exist do you see disabled people when you go out uh, uh, every day to uh, you know cinema when you go to the market when you go to a shopping mall when you go to a bank when you go to a theater when you go to your office your school your colleges do we see disabled people the 15% of the world's population are people with disabilities and in, in india if you look at the government data 2011 says 2.68 crore people so where are this 2.68 crore people if we if we don't take 15% 2% hi lete kaha hai ye log kaise niklenge apne gharon se kaise school jayenge kaise padhenge and aap nahi padhenge to fir naukri kaha milega inko kaha ye business karenge kaha ye kaam karenge kaise business karenge roz ka ana jana mein i think this is something we need to think it's it's something which everybody needs everybody does it's not rocket science is cheez ko samajhne ke liye humko quantum physics nahi padhna padta hai common sense ki zarurat hai sensitivity ki zarurat hai the fact that we are all people of this country we are all citizen of this country and it is all rights are guaranteed by the constitution why are we leaving disabled people behind Mm. and and you know what the irony is that somehow i don't know how to say this and i say this with a lot of anger mm. in me i'm trying to stay calm here somehow the weird solution to all of this is make sure they don't come in our visual periphery dikhega nahi to problem hai nahi problem hai nahi to humko uske bare mein charcha nahi karni padegi agar we don't have to discuss it we don't have to deal with it and if we don't have to deal with it we are awesome right everybody is holding hands singing kumbaya dancing in the aisles that's that's what's happening and and it bugs me and again like i was having this discussion with you offline before we started our chat a lot of it you know jiske upar beetti hai usko pata chalta hai if you have a friend if you have a family member if you know someone who knows someone 
they they deal with this like it's a part of their life they are mentally attuned to do with it now i understand if you're not come across something in your life you tend to have a different approach to it and i think both sides should maybe be a little bit charitable in that sense like you know if if uh if i am a 18 year old who has not experienced it in my life at all you know i've not come across people like that and suddenly i come across someone like that and and if i i feel sad for them i may be coming from a good place too that i genuinely feel sad for them and i but yes uh but i want to talk about this education bit more because i think one of the things now people can debate it i think the one thing i i give credit to the current prime minister of india is his mass appeal whenever he says something uh, like it or hate it whatever you know depending on how people take it people do tend to listen to the man you know he has that appeal amongst the masses and there are many other celebrities in india i i don't know how to say it we are a very feudal society you know we tend to you know have these not that other societies are not feudal but we are sort of extra feudal at times i feel but heroes and icons play a huge role when it comes to pushing people to do that and what bugs me arman is that till now you were very right the lens with which disability is looked at is of pity the lens with which you know you you said it beautifully are bhaiya humko pension se zyada humko naukri chahiye agar hum naukri karenge humko pension ki avashyakta hi nahi hogi aur hum tax bharenge bhai hum tumhare jaise ho jayenge hum hum is desh ke active tax payer banna chahte hain where is that sentiment and message not percolating down where have we failed arman i think there's a lack of political will also at every problem that you have in any country is a political problem so majority in politics again aap agar 100 log hain 100 crore hain 100 crore mein 80 crore log hain ya 85 hi pakad lo aap jisme 85% non disabled hain yahi log jaate hain vote dete hain yahi inka hi vote se sarkar banti hai aur pehla mang inka hi pura hoga economic development jo bhi hoga inka wo hone ke baad जो बचेगा थ्रू विच यू विल डू वेलफेयर डिस्ट्रीब्यूट सब स्टैंडर्ड एड्स एंड अप्लायसेज गिव फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज पर मंथ टू पीपल अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट अलाउेंस गिव ट्रेन में कॉन्सेशन एंड सो ऑन नाउ बिकॉज डिसेबल्ड पीपल के नॉट ऑर्गेनाइज दम सेल्फ दे विल नॉट एबल टू ब्रिंग डाउन द गवर्नमेंट घर से निकल नहीं पाते तो कहा धरना करे कर दे आर नॉट अ वोट बैंक ये आपने एकदम सोलह आने सच बात बोली है दे आर नॉट अ वोट बैंक इसके लिए उनके ऊपर कोई ध्यान नहीं दे रहा हाँ सो आई थिंक दैट नीड्स टू चेंज टू मेरी रिसेंटली इलेक्शन कमिश्नर कमीशन से बात होते देर आर सेवेंटी लैक डिसेबल पीपल हुआ वोटर्स नाउ रजिस्टर्ड वोटर्स विद इलेक्शन कमीशन ऑफ इंडिया so i think they are also getting there and and there will be political uh, implications so i think ek political will ki zarurat hai aapko kya pareshani hai matlab agar aap koi ek naya uh, ek uh, auditorium ban raha hai kahin kahin school ban raha hai naya purane ko the baat hi nahi kar raha main aapko ensure karna hai ki accessible ho सिर्फ सामने एक रैंप नहीं एवरी फ्लोर एवरी क्लासरूम एवरी द प्रिंसिपल के रूम पे हो एक मतलब एनी प्लेस इन दैट एनी कॉर्नर इंक्लूडिंग द प्ले ग्राउंड शुड बी मेड इन द मैनर इट इज एक्सेसिबल फॉर डिसेबल्ड पीपल एंड एक्सेसिबिलिटी डजेंट ओनली मीन अ व्हील चेयर वो व्यक्ति ब्लाइंड हो सकता है वो व्यक्ति डेफ हो सकता है वो व्यक्ति व्हील हो सकता है क्रच यूज कर सकते हैं वॉकर यूज कर सकते हैं या वो खुद अपने चारों ऑन देर ऑन फोर फोर लिप्स दे कम people may have multiple disability blood disorders or invisible disability ho sakte mental health issue ho sakte hain so we need to be very careful that the need is not only physical physical it's also your policies your also also what policies you have for recruiting people in in general how accommodating you are when you are uh, you know running a, a business you know you tell me how many i mean these are i i know i feel i feel very uncomfortable even talking about it you know how many i mean restaurants can disabled people go to if you take the five star hotels down of the list nahi ja sakte nahi ja sakte keep the malls out how many atm my atm 
pin is known by my all staff including my driver my office uh, boy everybody knows my pin will you share your pin with anybody nahi bahut risky hai yaar bahut i'm just telling you so my credit card my thing they all know because i can't do it so so how many banks can we go to i mean school bank college isme hum hum thode kya rakhenge disco disco bhi jayenge yaar so i think this is where the problem is and and i think if you look at a uh, issue as solving an issue it has to have political will and globally there is a lot of nudge around it there has to bring people out of their poverty and this vicious cycle of poverty and disability is a vicious cycle disability brings makes you poor poor, poor uh, nutrition lifestyle brings disability and you have to break that cycle and uh, you correctly said i think we have a uh, prime minister who's taking it he, he has brought a lot of spotlight on disability there is a lot of noise any document today in the government you'll find you'll find the disability mentioned in there the problem lies in implementation the problem lies in driving it so the vision which is there by the honorable prime minister is not percolated to the last person in the government system or or to the last person also the non government organizations also the civil society their perception is also around uh, uh, you know charity they also want to do welfare you are not part of the development that uh, uh, you want to include people with disability into the system and so on you know kushal i can talk and talk and and say so many things that will make you even more angrier disabled people cannot get insurance in india what you cannot get a medical insurance you cannot get uh, uh, life insurance i'm sorry i'm going to swear what the fuck yeah i did not know this i'm so sorry to hear this i mean right. what nonsense is this there are litigations in supreme court of india challenging all this so i don't have insurance i don't have health insurance i don't have life insurance i might get life insurance if i pay higher premium so so people who need it the most don't have it that's the kind of policies we have so 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 this is just the tip of a nice bird so if if somebody uh, finds a employer who is willing to employ the person and says we'll give you a job at 10000 rupees per month in mumbai please come to office from tomorrow and makes changes in the office to accommodate a person who is blind or 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 in a wheelchair or with um, you know other multiple disability how how will the person reach that office aane jaane mein he will spend 10000 or more or three times the money than he earns and 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 given a scenario where disabled people don't have access to education as it should be to yaar isme arman how much of a role has technology helped abhi e learning hai distance education aa gayi hai aur the digital divide kushal aap digital aap aap sari baatein delhi bombay pune aur bangalore ko kyun soch rahe hain छोटे डिस्ट्रिक्ट में सोचिए और पुणे बॉम्बे दिल्ली बैंगलोर भी सोचेंगे अगर थोड़ा सा लोअर मिडिल क्लास और लोअर इकोनॉमिक स्टेटा में चले जाए कितने लोगों के पास इंटरनेट है कितने स्मार्टफोन से एक घर में कि और स्मार्टफोन और इंटरनेट भी है तो डेटा कितना आ सकता है कॉस्ट इम्प्लीमेंट इंप्लीकेशन क्या है और ये सब है भी तो कितने जागरूक है लोग कि ये सब लेके बच्चों को पढ़ाने का पीपल थिंक इट्स बैड इन्वेस्टमेंट टू एजुकेट डिसेबल्ड पीपल बिकॉज क्या करेगा ये एंड इन सारी बातों में मैं आपको कहूं कि हमने तो एक बार भी वुमेन विद डिसेबिलिटी का जिक्र भी नहीं किया उनकी हालत बद से बदतर है जो बोथ इवन द डिसेबिलिटी सेक्टर विच इज लेड बाई मेन लाइक मी डिस्क्रिमिनेट अगेंस्ट दैम स्पेस भी नहीं है बोलने का सो माई थिंग इज वेन यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट वुमेन्स राइट वाई वो राइट फॉर वर वुमेन विद डिसबिलिटी एज नॉट टेकिंग टू दैट डिस्कोर्स वाई डू ओनली डिसेबल्ड पीपल हैव टू गो टू डिसेबल्ड पीपल्स ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वाई डू वी हैव टू रन ब्लाइंड के लिए ब्लाइंड स्कूल खोलो डेफ के लिए डेफ स्कूल खोलो जो और न्यूरोलॉजिकल डिसेबिलिटी वा इंटेलेक्चुअल डिसेबिलिटी उनके लिए अलग खोलो कितने स्कूल खोलेंगे आप हर डिस्ट्रिक्ट में हर गाँव में viability bhi hoti hai all teachers should be able to teach all students 
that's the logic that's the fundamental and education is the enabler it can only change games and uh, that's where we need to focus so arman are there like your organization does the organization involve itself in training programs like let's say apne teachers ka zikr kiya so let's say i am a teacher uh, in in a government school and i may not be given these training packets by the government i'm not saying they are or they are not i'm just creating hypothetical here so is there a way where your organization goes to the government and government school teachers and private school teachers can come for uh, seminars and training programs where they are taught how to deal with kids so there of- there are courses that are teaching is a serious business kushal so like, like ba ed like you know it's a two year special education so there is one year two year courses run by various institution so there is need to bring more focus by the universities by the government so that more and more uh, institutions run the regular teacher training program has to incorporate the disability part in it and, and not that after you complete the b8 degree or a diploma in in, in montessori training and then you again do another course for uh, disabled uh, children that is doesn't have the motivation it doesn't give it so it has to be incorporated if you are an engineer if you are an architect if you are a doctor you sh- should be taught within your course that there are also disabled people and there are this many kind and their needs are like this so doctors ke paas mein agar jaao aur main main khud ek wheelchair pe hu aur main usko batao main ghutne mein dard hai wo bolta hai main kya karu aap wheelchair pe hai to hai to theek hai pain ke liye kha lijiye he they cannot diagnose because they don't understand the lifestyle i have and with, with this lifestyle and this disability i have i if i have an ailment which somebody without disability has it as 70 years old and i am getting it when i am in 40 what what is the prescription what is the solution what is the therapy so these are all questions that need to be answered so you know you want to save space and that's how when you design a building or a commercial space you don't want to make a ramp you say chalo yahi dukaan de denge that's the mentality we have but if you make these provisions as mandatory that without that you will not get your building permission if it's a commercial uh, establishment then they will find a way they will be but you know we have to stop being so selfish we have to stop just looking at ourselves and our need and 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 i don't know when this will stop and how we as an uh, uh, organization i mentioned that we work on policies and i mentioned national education policy so in the national education policy which just got framed in 2020 it's after 40 years i think it has been changed it is one of the excellent policies where we intervened right from early childhood development to higher education it talks about inclusion of disabled people it talks about use of technology it talks about teachers training it talks about infrastructure which has to be disabled friendly it talks about special zone where disabled people are being to considered as as we speak tomorrow i think day after tomorrow we have a meeting with the national curriculum framework uh, uh, steering committee where we are saying that what curriculums will teach should also be disabled friendly and what also so though as an organization we bring everybody together we whatever issue at hand we have we give our input and thoro it's as an ek we just sitting and across the table uh, you are talking about it so one of the major problem that we have uh, uh, in our country and uh, elsewhere also that disability is an afterthought sab jab ho jayega ab wo oh, like covid happened when pandemic happened when lockdown happened you forgot that there are disabled people also so then as an afterthought you want to do a fire fight uh, or you want to you know do your last bit to cover your mistakes so so that that has to stop it just cannot be like that but uh, you you talked about covid and uh, you know a listener and a, a viewer has asked this question do you think the post pandemic work from home culture will further promote employment amongst at least physically disabled people now the reality is people who were working in 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 um, private sector jobs they lost their jobs because of pandemic because you know a lot of this uh, uh, companies who hired disabled people also have outsourced it ai has taken a lot of the you know the simple data work uh, people with disability who are employed are working in unorganized sector they set up small vending you know you know small ready laga ke you know uh, small trolleys they 
they, they sell stuff which is unorganized. So a lot of them have had to shut their business. A lot of them lost uh, their livelihood in, in, in during the pandemic, during the lockdown. We, we, we were running a helpline at that time. And uh, the amount of call, you know, for example, Mumbai, there's blind hawkers as associations. The people who are blind who are yes. selling handkerchiefs uh, in, in local train. They used to call, sir, what do we do now? I don't think, you know, how will we survive and so on. So, you know, it's it's the stories are heart-wrenching. The kind I, I, I received calls from West Bengal. I, and I was answering these calls by myself. The phone was with me. Somebody who had one hand amputated he said sir i got your number i'm a painter with one hand i was paying you know taking jobs of you know doing whitewash at houses and i was earning and this has stopped i don't want any uh, i'm not begging i don't want any charity can you find another job what can i do now though we can't even go out of the house ration and stuff is you know something you can you will give me so you know so it's like that but uh, people who are qualified which you find uh it difficult to find many disabled people who have the kind of uh, qualification which can do tech level uh, work uh, and that kind of jobs are also you only work from home it does help if you have the qualification but if you're not qualified then you know it, 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 it it's a challenge so yeah even in this work from what i have understood is that if you have a certain kind of a lifestyle even in even here privilege comes in then you know there are certain privileges that people with those privileges even in this community tend to have an easier way out than in comparison to a vast swath of the community which is just i guess that's the story of india in every section in every way right right mm-hmm. you know if you talk about employment for that matter so so, so the, i talked to you about this new law that we have the rights of persons with disability act 2016 it talks about equal opportunity policy so just hear me out you know it's the law says that every establishment which has more than 20 employees must have a equal opportunity policy and the policy should say that they will not discriminate any person on the basis of his or her or their disability and they have to have this policy and we have it registered with the commissioner's disabilities office now any establishment with more than 20 employees can you guess a figure how much that would be kind of employment it can create in every district in every town you will find uh, so, you know people having fabrication unit will have more than 20 employees yeah There that's are, like 20 to 30% of small businesses in india yeah so so i'm not even talking about large corporation i'm not even talking about the big five or big four or whatever so it's this need to change and how do we incentivize these people who come forward to employ disabled people there's there's something called reasonable accommodation so work from home is nothing but reasonable accommodation it was reasonable accommodation for everybody till the lockdowns and uh, you know when we had, had these two three waves of covid so reasonable accommodation is that having flexible work hour you have, you come to office on alternate days you work from home you need a different uh, uh, height of the table your chair needs to be different you need to lie down for 2 hours during the work hour uh, work hours you need somebody to shadow your work um you may need a software if you are blind which reads the screen for you getting that software you are uh, the washroom in the office needs the door to be widened or you know if it's a large corporation there's a need to install a lift which goes to the seventh floor so these are the things you do to accommodate people with disability which is not an well you not that you earn 1 lakh rupees per year as profit and you're spending 2 lakh rupees to buy a lift it's if it is not a undue burden on the employer and when you have this reasonable accommodation policies in place and you hire the person as employer employee basis on the skill the person brings on the table and then you do their appraisal and 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 you pay them for what they bring on to, to to the table for the contribution that they make to the organization and not 
making their disability as qualification. So disabled people also need to look, look away from that model that, you know, your disability becomes your qualification and you want to get an employment because give me a job because I have a disability. So, you know, that's how the country will change. That's how, you know, uh, you don't judge people basis on their disability. So there are people with disability, you'll find them in jails also. They, they committed crimes, they committed murder, they committed rape. So they're as human as anybody else. The needs are the same, the behaviors are the same. Some may have difficulty in expressing, but those who can, they are. Fair enough. Uh, someone has asked, what about uh, a, disability, a disability that occurs due to the occupation itself, like an accident on the job or something? Yes. You know, wh- how, uh, are, there, are there any specific programs by your organization that help them deal with that? Like how do the, how do the pays work or stuff like that? Uh, how do they get rehabilitated in society or stuff? So there, like are, there are organizations who, who are, um, you know, if somebody acquires a disability, during um, employment and at the place of work there are there are uh, uh, you know laws under labor laws which you know kind of protects them and when you acquire a disability the law says one cannot be discriminated on basis of you cannot lose a job if you are working in a government sector you cannot lose your job you cannot be denied promotion and 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 uh, you will have to be accommodated in that organization now if you have lost your employment you you want to be rehabilitated, so there are organizations who helps you find employment, and we will be happy to connect them with such organizations if there needs to be reskilling done or trying to see what kind of jobs they are available and how they can do. So that's we will be able. To, that's something we'll be able to help with. So Arman, one last question before I let you go. You know, this podcast, whatever viewership it has had, I mean. The sole aim of my podcast has been to try to talk about issues that maybe a lot of people don't talk about. And I, I, I hope that today is one such endeavor. So what would your message be as, you know, maybe this is my last question to you now for my listeners and viewers who who regularly come, try to, you know, lend an ear to what I have to say or what my guests have to say. How can we as, uh, you know, fellow citizens uh, help help your organization or the cause you're working like how can what can we do then no i think no matter what you do like you uh kushal do you do this podcast you have included disability in it i think you've done your bit and you continue to do it so all your listeners no matter what you do please do keep persons with disability in mind you know you may be running business you may be you know a student you may be uh, you know anybody who's doing any kind of uh, role do keep in mind that there is a person with disability and they're a person first and then their disability they are the same people as you and the needs are the same um so th- my 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 only uh, request that in whatever you do and if you are in a position where you are able to decide on anything to make it disabled friendly please put your foot down at ncpdb we'll be happy to help you with any knowledge that you want to ensure uh that that uh, that it is disabled friendly we'll be happy to connect uh, with all uh, uh, organization nearby you who can help you with that i think in in, in a way i, I keep saying um, um, uh, in 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 most of my conversations with people that we will make it impossible for people to ignore disability we have to create that much of a buzz and noise and awareness that people find it impossible i mean you uh, to ignore disability you you when you are elections you know that disabled people are, will come and vote when when uh, when there is a concert a rock concert you know that disabled people will come and watch it you when there are schools you know that the children will come to the school there will be open employment you roll out vacancies for people with disability looking for the people will apply, with disability apply you have a matrimonial services you think of disabled people who want to get married you talk you want to uh, have an adventure uh, tourism being done. Think about disabled people will also be able to become. You know, the worldwide, you know, Kushal, uh, $8 trillion is the spending power of families and people with disabilities. So one should keep that in mind and design everything with they do should include disabled people. And as far as NCPTP is concerned, we are uh, India's leading organization who talks about these issues. And we don't run any services. We don't run a school, or we don't run, you know, skill development training to um, um, to train people to play play place them for employment. But we 
do the role of a catalyst, the bridge between disabled people and the government and so on. So we need all the support. Please do visit the website ncpedp.org and um, please like our page, follow us on Twitter and help us in whatever way you can in terms of volunteering, in terms of resources, in terms of you know passing the word around. Thank you so much. Thanks. Yeah. So guys, you heard it. So maybe I'll I'll leave you guys today with a few words of my own. I normally don't do it, but today I will. You know, uh, try and understand what Arman told you today. And not once the big the worst thing you can do for a disabled person is pity them. So stop pitying them. Uh you have to treat them like they are one of you, just like you. Yes, they have certain problems or inaccessibilities then let's say you have to walk in a certain way they have to walk in a certain way you have to approach a, a, a particular spot a certain way they have to approach it in a certain way but we're all going to the same person let's say we're all sitting together and having beers we're all sitting together and eating paneer or chicken tikka or mutton whatever is your taste swad anusar aise bolte at the end of the day the aim in your life should be that once they're there you don't pity them they're just one of the people you are there jaise agar aapka koi dost hoga to aap usko bhi galiyan do kyunki wo aapka dost pehle hai disabled baad mein hai bhai uske sath dost bano what happens a lot of time is ki we start looking at them differently as if they're something different The first step is remove that mental block. Treat them just like one of the boys. Mess around with them maybe. Yeah, I'm saying it. Unke saath mastiyan karo. Joke maro. Un, wo tumhari khichega. Tum unki khicho. Aise hi normal hoga. And dusra, go to the organization's website and try and find out. Look, like I did not know many things. When I went to their website, I actually started reading up. you know arman has faced a lot of shit himself which we did not touch upon is because we don't you know we did not want to uh, you know go into the whole thing uh, just google arman and you will find out what what all he has gone through just google him just google arman ali and the problems he's faced in his life uh, from being called absurd things and we should be ashamed of that but he still didn't play the victim card today he could have he didn't is because at the end of the day we are just human beings we just want to be one of us they just want to be one of you and we should make sure that in the description of this podcast you will find the details of the twitter handle of the organization the website of the organization i want all of you to go and have a look i want all of you to if be possible तुम्हारे लोकल एम एल एम एल ए तुम्हारा लोकल म्यूनसिपल काउंसिलर जिसको नगर सेवक कहते हैं हम लोग महाराष्ट्र में या आपका एम पी या पी एम ओ में लेटर लिखो बाय द वे लोगों को विश्वास नहीं होगा मगर पी एम ओ एक्चुअली जवाब देता है बहुत बार लोगों बहुत लोगों को मैंने बोला है लिखने को पी एम ओ एक्चुअल में जवाब देता है लिख दो यार एक चिट्ठी पी एम ओ को कि सर क्या कर रहे हैं वो आपको मैं बताता हूँ आपको जवाब देंगे हमने तो ये पॉलिसी ये पॉलिसी की है इसमें सब आ गया और ये फैक्ट है अरमान इज राइट सेंट्रल लेवल पे बहुत सारी पॉलिसीज होती हैं मैं रूरल इंडिया में काम कर चुका हूं एंड आई कैन टेल यू विद अ लॉट ऑफ कॉन्फिडेंस यू नेम द प्रॉब्लम आई शो यू द पॉलिसी इन इंडिया हर चीज की पॉलिसी होती है बट द डेविल इज लाइंग ऑलवेज इन द डिटेल्स एज अरमान सेड द डेविल इज इन द इंप्लीमेंटेशन एंड इंप्लीमेंटेशन गैप इंडिया में सबसे बड़ा है दैट्स वेयर वी नीड टू सो मे बी यू शुड राइट टू द प्राइम मिनिस्टर एंड से सर आपने पॉलिसीज तो बना दी है इंप्लीमेंट होती नहीं है उसका क्या करेंगे and let me tell you you can like the prime minister you can dislike the prime minister that's not the issue but he is your prime minister <laughs> you, you can't change that fact we as a community as indians dekho main to sirf apne desh ke bare mein soch sakta hu main itna bada powerful aadmi to hu nahi ki main duniya ke bare mein sochu main sochta to duniya ke bare mein hi hu magar point hai maybe hum hamari gali se shuru kare kya hamari gali friendly hai क्या हमारी बिल्डिंग यार गेटेड कम्युनिटीज में रहते हैं हम लोग बहुत सारे जो मुझे सुनते हो तुम लोग रहते हो क्या तुम्हारी अपनी सोसाइटी फ्रेंडली है क्या तुम्हारी अपनी बिल्डिंग फ्रेंडली है वो चेक करो जाके और अगर नहीं है तो मे बी नेक्स्ट जो मीटिंग है सोसाइटी की उसमें ये सब्जेक्ट तो उठा सकते हो ना कि यार अपनी सोसाइटी फ्रेंडली यार अपने को कुछ करना चाहिए इसके बारे में ये करो 
I'll leave you guys at that. And I hope that today's podcast has done that for you. And Arman, thank you very much for coming. And I and I hope this is not the last time we speak and we keep on having these conversations again and again. No, thank you so much, Kushal. I will be only happy to speak. And there's so much to talk about. There's so many stories. There's so many issues. And uh, my gratitude and on behalf of the entire uh, NCPDP team and my National Disability Network, um, my gratitude to you. And uh, thank you so much for uh, taking up disability as one of your topics on this podcast. I, I'd be damned if I did not. It's it's my responsibility. I should be doing it. So, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Please go and read their website material. Please do that. I insist. I'm telling you. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.